In May of 2002, Unsun's friend Renee Rose kept calling. Each time, Larry Vanner's explanation for why she couldn't talk to Unsun was different. Finally, after several weeks, Rose gave Vanner an ultimatum. She was leaving on vacation for 10 days, and she said she wanted to hear Unsun's voice on her answering machine when she got back. If she didn't, she would call the police. And in the end, that's what she did. Roxanne Grunheid, she is working in Contra Costa County when this call about a missing person comes in. And I was a homicide detective for the Contra Costa County Office of the Sheriff. Someone who earlier in her career was told by superiors that her reports were too detailed. Occasionally, I did write a little bit too much. I think just loves a mystery who really thrives on searching for the smallest details that can unlock the biggest mysteries. The case originally came in as a missing persons report. Where is Unsun Jim? The obvious first place to start is with the live-in boyfriend, Larry Vanner. So police bring Larry Vanner in for questioning. Now, I haven't talked anymore about Unsun's problems or my problems because, frankly, you're not my priest, no. and you're not my doctor. I watched from this special room where the video link is. He was polite and soft-spoken and very smart. And with his twinkly blue eyes, he could, you know, get somebody to maybe to trust him. I've always tried to live by the model that there's no defense against the truth. But sometimes it's hard to find out what the truth is. All we were really trying to do was to determine where Unsoon was and if she was OK. And he wasn't being cooperative with that at all. Now, when that southern fire was roaring last month, uh, I don't know if you've ever lived in a rural area before, but most people were signed up for the firefighting crew. He's just telling stories. He's just trying to bide his time and not anything about like on soon and where she is and what's why you're here in this police station. You know, gossip has its place in society sometimes. But I'm just not gonna say any more about it soon or myself right now. Larry is offering a whole slew of different reasons for why Unsun is unavailable. At first, he said she had was up in Oregon. Taking care of one of my properties. And then at some point, he changed the story into that she had had some sort of a nervous breakdown. If she were to get a call from authorities, that might trigger an anxiety attack. And when somebody's story keeps changing, it means that they're either made something up can't remember what they told you the first time, or that they're, they're lying to you. They decide they want to fingerprint Larry Vanner to learn more about him, and he agrees. He walked into the records bureau and allowed us to fingerprint him. We very quickly got a phone call from the records bureau that they had identified him as a parolee at large by the name of Curtis Mayo Kimball. Curtis Kimball. Curtis Kimball, he's a man who had been convicted of child abandonment. All right, Larry, uh, your prince came back. You know your other name, right? Curtis Kimball. Curtis Kimball, ring a bell? No. no. Yeah, that's who you are, man. So what's the deal? Who really are you? And more importantly, where is Unsoon? Right away, he's under arrest. He was read his Miranda rights, and he declined to make any additional statements. What the detectives don't realize is how much of a monster this guy is. So Roxanne and a colleague go over to the house to try to find Unsum, to see where she is. As myself and my partner approached the front door, we didn't know what we were walking into. I mean, you always hope that the person is OK and that they're alive and well. It was kind of dirty and just messy, but not anything particular that was out of place. There's no obvious sense of foul play, of struggle of any kind. We did note that there was an apparent lack of women's clothing property, like there were no purses, there were no women's shoes. So it was only his stuff in the house. It was odd. One of the interesting things I noted was that there were actually some photographs of Unsoon on the refrigerator. She was smiling, and she looked like she was happy. And 
they work their way around the house and around to the garage. And they open up the garage door from the outside. It was packed with stuff. Ansoon was a avid potter, and she had pottery in various stages of being fired and glazed. And then my partner walked into a smallish door at the very back, and he said something to the effect like, you're not going to believe this. Like, you got to come see this. Roxanne takes a few steps down into the crawl space, and what she sees is an enormous pile of cat litter. Big, like four or five feet around, probably two or three feet high. And I stood there for just a few seconds. There was no odor. I remember seeing an ax leaned up there. There was a lot of blood spatter in the room. They bring in the crime scene investigators, look into that pile, and they start brushing it away. First thing that was revealed was a human foot. And it's wearing a flip-flop. But it was completely mummified. Ultimately, the body was positively identified as Unsoon Jun. The cause of death was a, a blunt force trauma to the head. It seemed obvious that she was either killed there or he was trying to dismember her there and then just bought the kitty litter to buy himself some time until he could dispose of her. So that night, I don't think I slept a wink, and it was like the world had turned dark and gray. When I got up in the morning, I pulled my shades back. There was clouds and a beautiful blue sky. And there was seagulls circling in the sky. They were beautiful. And I went, this can't be. I closed the blinds back up. How could it be bright and sunny when Unsun's dead? Within the couple of weeks after discovery of the body, Larry Vanner, AKA Curtis Mayo Kimball, was charged with the murder of Unsun Jun. Investigators have not yet proven that any of the tools found at the residence were used by Vanner to kill Unsun. The prosecutor in the case. He wanted to find some piece of evidence that somehow tied Larry Vanner to the act of murdering Unsun Jun. Ultimately, the cat litter was the key. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.